guys, we're back to the UK channel and in today's video I'm doing my 800 subscriber Q&A. Thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers. Um, we have been most of them so quickly lately. They're on track to hit 1k pretty soon, so I can't thank you guys for the support enough. Um, yeah, like we hit 600, we hit like 500, I was ready to do a milestone video, then like two, like a few days after we hit 600, and straight away we hit 700, then straight away we hit 800, and we're like, alright, we've got to do a milestone video soon, and uh, yeah, I probably won't do one for 900, but I'll definitely do one for 1000. So yeah, I asked on my Instagram, at RealUKYT, for some questions for an 800 subscribers Q&A, and uh, I got some in, so yeah, let's go. So the first one is from well-known moderator in the AFL YouTube community, Hamish Jordan Moritz, and he asked, what made you want to do YouTube videos when you're such a talented basketball player? If you invest your time correctly, you can make the NBA as the water boy. Thank you, Hamish. Um, well, as being such a talented basketball player, um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, the, the injuries affected me. I, yeah, just had lots of injuries. Why won't I make YouTube videos? Um, I don't know. I just started one day and it's just become... A thing and now it's like become like a real real thing like so I become like a real thing in August 2020 um but like I started like back in like early April 2017 so yeah I don't know how I've <laughs> done it for that long considering how awful my content was for three years not saying it's not awful now but uh yeah it's still pretty awful but uh yeah all right next question from Sydney Garrig and he asks who is your favourite Freo player and do you like ice hockey? My favourite Freo player is the Bray Shaw and do I like ice hockey? No. Next question is from well known YouTuber in the community, Druzy, and he asks, What keeps you grinding away on the tube? Um, I guess it's just for, you know, a portfolio for media, I guess. Um, you know, getting into the media industry. Also, it, it's fun and uh, I'm aiming to, you know, get monetized, starting a bit of money. And, um, yeah, I, I think fun's the reason. <laughs> Next question is from Hazavanders, and he asks, What AFL EVO difficulty do you play on, and how have you enjoyed the season pack so far? I play on all Australian difficulty, and I sometimes switch it to the one under Legend, like, in between there. So, um, yeah, that's what I play on. And have I enjoyed the season pack? I sure have, even though they have messed up a few teams, Goonsies, and even some player face games. Next question is from Raya Henshi, and he asks, isn't a question, but you will overtake me in subs in the next two months. Well, I'm, I mean, I, I, I could. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I might, I might not. Who knows? No, but if you haven't already, go sub to Raya. It does make very good content. As so, with Carbon22, who has our next question, worst video you've made this year? Yo, we'll go on the desktop and we'll have a look at that. Alright, let's have a look. We'll go all the way to the start of this year. So my first video of the year was 2021 AFL YouTuber Hunger Games. That was a pretty good video. I would like a lot of these early videos from like early this year I would definitely do better nowadays. Um the Scorchers Brain Guys does a BBL. I don't reckon any of the BBL vlogs qualify. This was a stinger. I literally just reacted to AFL TikToks. That's one of the worst videos I've made. Um per school visit is a BBL vlogs so I qualify, I don't reckon they were pretty good. See, the Google feed was a good video itself, but that thumbnail is up there for one of the worst I've ever made. Geogus Barrier was good. Uh, that back up, definitely not. I put a lot of time into that. Um, Instagram follow, it was a little bit of a stinker, but I put work and time into that, so probably not. Uh, this Jeopardy video, I can't just play a video game and edit it. I mean, that's literally what AFL Evolution videos are, but yeah, th this, this rigot was so bad, like, that could be there. Try not to laugh. Mastermind's fine. Wikipedia speed runs, I was alright. And then the, all the vlogs don't get. Okay, this may be the season promo because I stole a bunch of footage and made a promo out of it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it's not it's not great. I might be up there. Pango Phil plays on Cameo, that was very good. We'll get more views if I take it nowadays. Um, then Reddit was a bit stinky. This, I thought this would do well, but it didn't do very well. Same with this, um, AFL Jeopardy, that is a very good video, one of my best, and then we start getting into like, you know, I don't think any of these qualify, these are more of my recent videos. Um, you know what, I'm going to go with reacting to funny AFL TikToks, let's just listen to how much of a stinker this is. Hey okay, lads, welcome back to the UK YouTube channel, and in today's video, we are reacting to some of the funniest AFL TikToks I hear about. Grab a pause for the goal from Vice 17. 
Next, a question from Gus Benson23, and he asks, What are your thoughts on Optus Stadium compared to Subiaco Oval? A stadium that is 100 times bigger, the architecture, the practicability. Um, that sucks, you have to take public transport in there. That's probably the only thing I'd like more from Subi. The Subi was a pretty bad ground, but I still do miss going there sometimes. Just, you know, some of the best games of football I've ever been to with S. Um, yeah, still. I think off the stadium was much better than Subi. I think the last question we have, uh, just a little short q and I didn't get too many questions because I didn't keep the um, story up for long. And we have from Ashar Khan 69 you, and he said, UCAT, what is your lineup predictions after round eight? Um, well, it's uh, at the time of recording this, I think when it comes out, it'll be the end of round nine. But I think um, I'm going to be doing a separate video on that um, very soon, my mid-season lagger predictions. But I'll, just go, I'll give my top eight. I'll go first Ds, second Dogs, third Eagles, fourth Cats, fifth Lions, sixth Power, seventh Tigers, and eighth Swans. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, almost at 1k. I can't wait to get there. Uh, lots of big and bad content coming when you know money can start coming in. We can invest that straight back in the channel for better content. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for new. Have a good day and see you later.